Bismillah and Assalamualaikum. So, in this video, I will explain to you another example on solving binomial probability distribution. Alright, now let's look at the question. If given 60% of the applicants for the GPE scholarship are accepted, so you have in a class of 7, students apply for the GPE scholarship, Calculate the probability that exactly three applicants are accepted. And part B, at least two applicants are accepted. Now, first and foremost, again, when you have this kind of question, write down your random variable. So, name your random variable. So, I would name your my random variable as x. So, x... So, binomial, you must have a success event. So, your success event, you want it to be, according to the question, the JPA applicants for the JPA scholarship that are accepted. So, you can put it, it is a number of applicants accepted. Okay. Then write down the notation of your binomial distribution. So, x having a binomial distribution. Now, how many number of trials? Now, over here, they say that in a class of 7, student apply for the GPA. So, you have a class of 7 means that that is your number of trial n. So, this is n equivalent to 7. And the property of success is over here, which is P. Alright, 60% if you change into probability is 0 0.6. Now, let's answer part A. So, part A says that uh, calculate the probability exactly 3 applicants are accepted. So, if it is exactly, then what you can do is that... Uh, you change into a notation sentence, which is probability of three applicants accepted. So means that your X number of applicants accepted equivalent to three. Now, this is simply just use the formula of the binomial. So, the formula again, P X equivalent to the R successes would give you N choose R, P power R. Q, N minus R. Okay, this one I mentioned already like few times. So, substitute into the formula. Your N here is 7. Choose R is 3. Your P is 0 0.6 power of 3. And your Q basically 1 minus by P would be 1 minus 0 0.6 would be 0 0.4. N minus R V 7 minus 3 will equivalent to 4. Use your calculator to calculate. You will get your answer such 0 0.1935, which is the probability of exactly 3 applicants accepted. So that is your final answer. Okay, now let's look at part B. So part B they ask you to find the probability that at least two applicants accepted. So, if two applicants accepted, for B at least, probability of X, the sign would be having greater and equivalent to 2. Now, again, for greater and equivalent, you have to sum up from the R successes until the end trial. So, you're going to have B2 plus by P3, plus by P4, plus by P5, plus by P6, plus by P7. Alright. Now, as I mentioned before, you can always write your Px equivalent to 2 as such this. Okay. So, now, if you look at the equation that you have, you're going to have a lot of... Um, formula and calculating to do which is for example if, if i plug in which is 7 choose 2 0 0.6 power 2 0 0.4 power of 5 plus by 7 choose 3 0 0.6 power of 3 0 0.4 power of 
for plus by until plus by uh, 7 choose 7 0 0.6 power 7 uh, 0 0.4 power of 0 okay so it will quite messy over here so what you can do instead of you do a uh, calculate one by one like this and you uh, plug into the calculator you can use a complement rule says that complement rule says that let's say you have you want it p a you can always find it one minus by p a bar where this is your one third case and this one is the unwanted case so over here your wanted case is at least two applicants so the unwanted case what do you think at least two applicants means that two three four five six seven so the unwanted case case should be zero and one correct so because you got seven applicants so what you can do is that for at least your px equivalent greater than equivalent to 2 can be equivalent to 1 minus by the unwanted case would be the case when px equivalent to 0 or the case of px equivalent to 1 all right so these are the two unwanted cases which is much easier for you to calculate because there is only two terms so plug in your formula which is 7 choose 0 0 0.6 power 0 0 0.4 power of 7 plus by 7 choose 1 0 0.6 power 1 0 0.4 power of 7 minus 1 is 6 okay and then use your calculator you're gonna get the probability of at least two applicants accepted would be 0 0.9812 so that's going to be your final answer. Okay?